Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 23rd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, if you want to get our signal service, you're welcome to head over to Patreon. The link is down below. Below, You'll also get access to our live trading and our um, full technical analysis for the commodities market, if you're interested. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit in the, uh, the training session today, only to give uh, most of those uh, gains back. At this point, we are fairly overstretched in the in the um, uh, Great British Pound and US dollar. At the moment, we are trading at uh, 1328, uh, and it's just a matter of time before we break down in this market. That is, uh, may, most of these that will be most the conclusion to most of these uh, currency pairs. I do expect the US dollar to appreciate in next week. It has turned around uh, in the, uh, late this session, and that is an indication that we are probably going to head back towards the uh, 50 moving average and we'll start appreciating, and that will basically drag this currency pair down. If you look at the technical indicators for this currency pair, we are way overbought at this point. Uh, we have been rallying for several weeks now, and it is about time that we fall back at least towards the uh, 20 exponential moving average, which is at the 13, uh, 16 at this point. Um, the MACD is also getting flat. The stochastic is also getting flat. Same goes the CCI. So we only need some kind of bad news in order to get this basically market to you know this currency pair to tumble back to the border the downside very lows here at the 12 uh, 96 that is probably as far as this market uh, will go so if you look at the us dollar yen we have been trading sideways as was expected we rallied quite significantly yesterday broke down again and today we have just been hanging around here at the same area we are in a downward channel and we are basically at the bottom of this downward channel we just started to become red here, but I do believe that we'll um, touch this lower channel here before we go to the upside. Technical indicators for for US uh, dollar yen, they are they are getting more positive or more bullish. You can see the stochastic is turning around, the CCI is turning around, so is the RSI, and the MACD is still quite bearish at this point. So I think that we'll head towards the twenty exponential probably the 50 before we head towards the very lows again. And that will probably also coincide with the appreciation of the US dollar. So Euro, US dollar, we can see that we have fallen quite significantly. Today we are down, yeah, well, not that significantly, but we are fairly significantly. But, but this is probably nothing compared to what is going to come next week. And the reason why I say that is because most of these indicators have crossed their signal lines. The stochastic has, the, the, the RSI is becoming become bearish, the same as the CCI, and the MACD is also about to cross the signal line. So on Monday, Tuesday session, we'll most likely see this um, uh, currency pair retest at least the 20 exponential at, uh, at 12.82, um, and and probably all the way down to the 50 at the 11 uh, 77. Uh, if that breaks, then we'll go all the way down to these lows at the 50, uh, 150 moving average at 11 64. And no interest are basically buying this. Um, if this rally will guarantee find significant resistance here at this very top. So looking at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, I did buy and uh, sell this at the beginning of uh, uh, Monday when we were. were well, at around this range here. Um, so I expected this to fall more quickly than it has. But the reason why it hasn't done that is because the US dollar has appreciated, uh, depreciated. And of course, that pressures this, uh, this commodity higher, a commodity, the currency pair higher. And at this point, we are just on the edge of basically collapsing towards the downside. We will test the down, uh, 20 exponential first, 0 0.72, uh, 34, and then we'll head towards the 50 and probably the 100, 150 uh, moving average. 
We have tested these highs several times before. We haven't even got close to them uh, in recent, recent tests. And all of these technical indicators are pointing to lower levels. Uh, we rallied a little bit today, fell back quite a bit. But as soon as the MACD crosses the signal line, we are going towards the downside. And uh, that probably will happen quite rapidly, depending on how much the US dollar appreciates the, in the next week. So if you look at US dollar CAT, we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential moving average. Uh, here at, uh, <clears throat> you can see we are trading at uh, 1308 and the 20 exponential is here at 1311. So this is a market that is in a, uh, downward trend still. We have been trading a little bit sideways, but still downward, lower and lower. Um, I think that we're going to stay stick around in this area for some time. We'll probably rally up towards the 50 and find significant uh, resistance there and also the 100, 100 moving average. But if we break these lows, then we are going significantly lower. It is not highly likely at this point. We are, if you look at um, uh, RSI, it is quite... Uh, bullish at this point, but the other indicators are flat. So until we get a sign from the MACD and the stochastic and so on, where are we technically are going, this is a market to just stay away from because there's not a lot of gains to get from this market. Until we rally to this upside, you can basically sell or we break below this, um, this um, support line here and then you can also sell this. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button and so see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where now it's over 90 uh, traders active trading there using our signal service. And also it's a, a good um, uh, social club, you can say. So good luck and thank you very much.